All right, today we are at the gun range and we are shooting the Smith & Wesson M&P Pro 9 series. Now, this is uh, not the 2.0 and uh, it does not have the thumb safety on it. Uh, I'm not really sure what the difference is between the regular post series and the 2.0. I do know that uh, I had the M&P Shield and I had the M&P uh, Shield Pro 2 and the only difference was was the stippling which that's that's all I could find uh, so uh, if uh, you have the M&P uh, Pro Series 9 2.0 you can put down in the comments and let me know uh, what the difference is uh, it is unloaded uh, We can see through it there. Uh, we do have the green fiber optic sight. We just have the blackout uh, rear uh, adjustable uh, sights. It does have a fairly easy takedown. Picatinny rail. Uh, there's not a lot of stippling here. It is kind of wide, so you know, it gives you a good hand grip on it because it's double stacked, uh, 17. Uh, it will fire without the mag, and you do have a little hole right there uh, so you can see uh, if it actually has a shell in it. Now, some of them uh, have the little pin back here. A mechanic has the little pin back here to let you know when it's cocked, but it doesn't let you know if it actually has a live round in it. Uh, so what we're going to do is we set up a target. Uh, we're going to shoot it uh, before we get too carried away. Uh, I did show you it is empty. So we're going to kind of check out the trigger on it. Uh, you have a little bit of play right there before it hits the wall. Uh, it kind of gets a little squishy. And then it goes back and you're back to here before it goes off. So you do have a little bit of a travel there uh, before... It does go off, so it doesn't have a terrible trigger on it, but it doesn't have what you call a really good trigger on it either. All right, so that being said, I do have a target set up at 20 feet. Uh, now, there is uh, five other holes out there in the cardboard, but uh, we're going to try to keep it in the target itself. All right, so let me get some uh, earmuffs on, and uh, let's see uh, what we can do with it. Oh, I'll try to get you lined up here, and uh, let's get one in, and we'll see what we can do with it. Okay. All right, so I can see right now it's shooting about four inches to the left. So we're moving over. I'm going to just kind of try that. All right, so let me take a second here. I'll tell you, that table is hard on my elbows. So I'm going to get a little padding here to put underneath. Make it a little more comfortable. Okay. And let's go back and try some more. All right, we are empty, and uh, 
what we were shooting was uh, the uh, herders uh, 115 grain full metal jacket that's the target ones uh, you can see I find that they seem to have a little more power than the uh, Winchester white box and the Remington green and white box and I'm gonna be honest with you I don't know if it was a box of shells I had or uh, what but this gun out of uh, 17 rounds it had uh, failure to feed and failure to eject three times with the Remington green and white box uh, so I tried the herders and uh, I have no problem with it it cycles them really good uh, these weren't too bad uh, we got these at uh, Cabela's or it's basically the new Bass Pro Shop $17.99 a box uh, your limit uh, five boxes uh, so the gun cycled them I liked them I went back up and they had a brick of 500 which you were allowed one uh, for 170 which works out to be $17 a box so you save $10 and the good thing about our state is uh, the governor made it to where uh, there's no sales tax on guns or ammo so it was a flat 170 for 500 rounds alright so let's go look and see how well we did now we were doing it fairly fast and uh, we really haven't shot the gun but a couple times uh, so when I was aiming here I was putting a couple of them out here because they were shooting uh, to the left I told you that so what we did was we aimed out at the number eight and here's where we kind of got uh, we got it got a little low uh, on a couple of them and I think maybe those low ones uh, maybe you can see it better when I was shooting it but I think maybe the low ones was uh, where my elbows was hurting before I got the padding so we're gonna go with that just to make myself look better just in case so let's just say these are the good ones and we have one flyer how about that that sounds like a good one to me all right we're gonna go with that Smith & Wesson MMP 9 Pro Series uh, so leave your comments let me know what you think about it let me know what you like about it versus maybe the 2.0 what the difference is and uh, as always, check out my videos.